Across our planet, nature weaves a tapestry of life. Different species, unique ecosystems, all interconnected. But look closer and you'll find invisible lines. These are biological boundaries separating distinct groups of plants and animals. These boundaries are shaped by geography, climate and the long history of life on Earth. They offer a fascinating glimpse into the processes that have shaped the distribution of life as we know it. One such boundary lies in Southeast Asia, marked by the Sulu Sea and the invisible yet powerful Wallace Line. Nestled within the islands of the Philippines and Borneo lies the Sulu Sea. Spanning almost 400 kilometers wide, this sea seems at first glance to be just another stretch of water but appearances can be deceiving. The Sulu Sea, while beautiful, acts as a formidable barrier for many creatures. Its depths plunge down, creating a challenging obstacle for animals adapted to shallower coastal waters. This sea, therefore, acts as a natural barrier, limiting the movement of species between the islands it separates. Imagine, if you will, a bird migrating across Southeast Asia. For many species, the sight of the Sulu Sea means a long detour. The distance is too great for many to fly across without resting. Land birds, accustomed to forests and fields, find themselves facing a seemingly endless expanse of water. For some mammals, the journey is even more impossible. They are bound to the land, unable to swim the long distance. The Sulu Sea, therefore, plays a crucial role in isolating populations and shaping the unique biodiversity of the region. Section 4. An underwater oasis, life in the Sulu Sea. While a barrier for some, the Sulu Sea is a vibrant ecosystem in its own right. This body of water, nestled between the Philippines and Borneo, is a hidden gem of biodiversity. Beneath its surface, coral reefs teem with life. These reefs are not just structures, they are bustling underwater cities home to countless species. Fish in a dazzling array of colors and patterns dart among the corals. Each species plays a unique role in maintaining the delicate balance of this ecosystem. Sharks and rays patrol the deeper waters. These majestic creatures are the guardians of the sea, ensuring the health of the marine environment. This sea supports a rich diversity of marine life, much of it endemic, meaning it is found nowhere else on Earth. From the tiniest plankton to the largest predators, every organism has a place in this intricate web of life. The Sulu Sea therefore reminds us that even seemingly impassable boundaries can harbour unique and irreplaceable life. It is a testament to the resilience and beauty of nature, a sanctuary for countless species and a vital part of our planet's biodiversity. Section 5. The Wallace Line, a line in the sand, a divide in the sea. In the 19th century, a young naturalist named Alfred Russell Wallace travelled extensively through Southeast Asia. His journeys took him to remote islands and dense jungles where he meticulously documented the flora and fauna he encountered. He observed something remarkable, a distinct difference in the animals inhabiting the islands. Wallace noticed that the species on one side of a certain line were vastly different from those on the other side. He drew an imaginary line, now known as the Wallace Line, that separated these distinct faunal regions. This line, invisible to the naked eye, marked a boundary that was more than just geographical, it was ecological. The western side, closer to mainland Asia, had mammals like tigers and monkeys. These animals were similar to those found on the Asian mainland, indicating a shared evolutionary history. But crossed to the eastern side, and these familiar creatures were replaced by marsupials and birds of paradise. This stark contrast puzzled Wallace and led him to further investigate the reasons behind such a divide. This line, running through the Sulu Sea, highlighted a fundamental divide in the natural world. It was a testament to the power of natural selection and the influence of geographical barriers in shaping the diversity of life on Earth. Wallace's discovery was groundbreaking, providing crucial insights into the distribution of species and the processes that drive evolution. Section six, two worlds apart. Life on either side of the line. The Wallace line is more than just a line on a map. 
It represents a significant biogeographical boundary that separates the distinct flora and fauna of Asia and Australasia. It reflects millions of years of geological history shaped by the movement of tectonic plates and the rise and fall of sea levels. During the last ice age, when sea levels were lower, the islands west of the line were connected to Asia. This connection allowed species to migrate and intermingle, creating a shared evolutionary path. Animals could move freely, resulting in a shared evolutionary history. Species such as tigers, elephants and rhinoceroses roamed these lands, contributing to a rich and diverse ecosystem. But the islands east of the line remained isolated, allowing a different set of species to evolve. This isolation led to the development of unique species found nowhere else on Earth, such as the marsupials of Australia and the exotic birds of New Guinea. The Sulu Sea, therefore, sits right on this invisible boundary, a testament to the powerful forces that have shaped life on our planet. It serves as a living laboratory, showcasing the incredible diversity and adaptability of life in response to geographical and environmental changes over millennia. Section 7. Understanding our natural boundaries are key to conservation. The Wallace Line and the Sulu Sea that lies within its boundary remind us of the incredible diversity of life on Earth. They show us that even seemingly small geographical barriers can have a profound impact on the distribution of species. Understanding these natural boundaries is crucial for conservation. By recognizing the unique evolutionary history of different regions, we can better protect the remarkable diversity that makes our planet so special.